If you've been paying attention to the market, you've probably heard about these meme stocks, stocks like AMC or GameStop. There's certainly been a lot of talk about Wall Street bets and other huge groups getting together to try to fight massive short sellers. And really, the reason that these stocks have been going so crazy is because of short selling and short squeezing. If you're not sure exactly what that is, I'll try to give a pretty brief summary. Short selling is when you borrow a asset and then sell it immediately because you think that asset is going to go down. Since you borrowed it, once the price goes down, you can buy the asset on the open market much cheaper than what you sold it for and give that back so you no longer owe anyone anything. The thing is, because of how short selling works, someone could buy a stock to short sell and they sell it to someone who's also going to short sell. And then there's also these huge leverage trading opportunities with options and other things, which means that theoretically you can have more shares sold short than are available on the open market. And this is something that has happened in the past before. One of the most famous was the Volkswagen short squeeze in 2008. For a single day, Volkswagen became the most profitable company in the entire world. And this happened because the short sellers needed to return those shares. Remember, when you borrow something, you're paying interest on it. You're paying money for a loan, like you would pay for a car loan or a mortgage, something like that. And the harder a stock is to borrow, the higher that interest rate is going to be. So we ran into an interesting situation where tons of companies were short and they needed to return those shares. They owed those shares. Interest was piling up. They were losing a lot of money. But the primary owner, in this case Porsche, didn't want to give those up. <laughs> and we're having a similar thing happen with GameStop stock, which is why you've seen these huge 10x increases and then it goes down and up. It's just been crazy hectic and volatile. And one that's getting a lot of attention recently is actually AMC, the movie theaters. If we zoom into the most recent three months, we could see that really it's been a $10 company or so. It was really impacted pretty heavily due to the virus. And we saw a huge spike up. It really looks like the short squeeze is starting to occur with this stock. However, if we look back at historical short squeezes like GameStop or Volkswagen, we know that this can't last forever. Eventually, there will be a breaking point, especially if the underlying fundamentals of the company are actually poor or if they really want to expand. They use their stock to raise money. They sell shares, things like that. However, that doesn't mean we necessarily know the direction, especially in the short term. All we can really say for certain is that the stock is going to be incredibly volatile, that there's going to be ups and downs, perhaps an immediate up and then an immediate down and back to normal like Volkswagen, or it could be a bit more stretched out and delayed like GameStop. It's really going to depend on how long short sellers are willing to maintain their positions. When we saw this initial drop, a lot of big hedge funds got bailed out essentially by other hedge funds and closed out tons of their positions. But there are still tons and tons of companies short on the market. And there's been tons of talk about AMC and GameStop, tons of predictions on if they're going to go up, down, how the short squeeze is affecting them, things like that. And people just won't remain quiet about them. And it begs the question, is this something you can get into and make a lot of money off of? Obviously, we know it's going to be extremely volatile. So doesn't that mean it's going to be insanely risky to actually deal with these stocks? Because if you buy in right when it's ending, You'll go down and lose tons and tons of money. We saw with GameStop, it never returned to that original spike, at least not yet. However, utilizing options, there is a pretty powerful play we could make that essentially guarantees profit. Now, this is not financial advice or anything. I'm just bringing up certain option strategies and how they could potentially be useful for a stock like this, where we know these short squeeze stocks are highly volatile and there is a way to make money off volatility, regardless if a stock goes up or down. It just has to move. And that strategy is called a strangle. I'm using Options Profit Calculator, which is a fantastic website. And the strategy I have selected is a strangle. And it describes it pretty well. A strangle involves buying a call and put at different strike prices. It's a strategy suited for a volatile market. The maximum risk is between the two and the strike price and profit increase either side as the price gets further away. 
There is a little nuance with this, but I'll try to give an example right now. Let's bring up AMC Entertainment. Here we have it selected, and now we have a call and put. If you're unfamiliar with options or you find them confusing, I'll have a link in the description of this video as well as the title card to my options textbook guides. That'll help explain some of the basics and very fundamental strategies if you're super confused about options. Also, if you like this sort of content, I would highly appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you want constant notifications, just hit the little bell icon that pops up. Additionally, if you want to get into trading and get two free stocks valued up to $2,300, I'll have a link in the description of this video to Webull. It's a great way to get started, and these free stocks are pretty appealing. I'll have a little more about them at the very end of this video. So now we select a call option. Let's go to the 25th, and we want to target the current price if we're expecting volatility. We can go to 47, 48, and here we have selected 48 for our call. And then for our put, we have the same date, the 25th of June, and we can experiment a little here. Let's say we pick the same strike price. Well, we're using a lot of money to open this. $3,547 just to open this position. But we could take a look at the profit loss. And as you can see, it does look pretty bad. We're losing a lot of money within the automatically determined intervals. However, if we go back to AMC stock, we could see that it was trading around $10, $9, things like that. On the higher end, it was up to 14. And at the highest, it was 62 to 55. Let's say we change this to around 10 and this to, let's say, 70. And then we calculate. Here, you're going to notice that we are still not really making profit on the high end for 70. But if there's a huge collapse, we notice that we actually are making profit on the low side. If we were to extend this further out, let's say $5 and $100, we could get one of the interesting shapes of a strangle. You can see that we really only lose money for certain if the stock stays flat. And obviously as time goes on, the closer it stays to its current trading price, which is around $48, the more money we're going to lose. However, if we see a wild swing in the price, such as a 75% swing by the end, we'll technically make money. And if there's an even higher upside, if it, let's say, goes all the way to 100, we're making well over $1,500. But if the price collapses down, let's say it goes back to $12, we'll make 53, we'll make 653. Now, when it comes to actually using strangles, there's a lot of things you want to do to optimize them. If you'll notice, we are trading at identical strike prices, which means that this middle section is going to be very large, this red middle. And you generally don't want to hold strangles for crazy long periods of time. They're all based around volatility, and options either become more or less valuable as time goes on. Generally, you get a decay if you're not really digging into the option, if it's not in the money. So because of that, a longer option like this doesn't make a lot of sense to hold till the end, as you can see. Really, a strategy like this is going to be banking on early volatility. Like, let's say a day or two goes by and it shoots all the way up to $87. Well, you made yourself well over $2,000 in a couple days. Or the price completely collapses back down. You can close for like, what, maybe $18 loss. And it's far less risky than just buying shares, something like that, if you expect or think it might go down. Now, we could actually change this a little bit. The big issue here is we're spending so much on those initial contracts. So if we shorten the duration, it does become more risky simply because we are not equalizing over time, right? The shorter the duration of an option's play, the less time you have to hold it. And we can calculate it. And we can see it still costs a lot to get these options. They are still pretty volatile simply due to the nature of the stock. People know it's going crazy up or down and they want to capitalize on it. So options are a pretty powerful leverage tool. However, we can see a decrease in the red section 
but granted this is over a shorter period of time. If we move things a little farther out, let's say we do 45 for the call side and keep the put side at 48, we can calculate that out as well and see how things shift. We could also move our put down to 45 as well. Again, when you're doing the same values, you generally get a much larger middle red section, but we can see how things like this define. However, it's going to rely on the stock falling those extra few dollars. Obviously, it's a bit cheaper to purchase something like this, and it's going to depend on a couple of factors. But the huge useful thing about Options Profit Calculator is it will show you the worst case scenario, essentially. What price range do you think that AMC is going to hit? Because if it fluctuates between any of these green areas, you can make money. If it's falling and collapsing down, you could close out for a very small amount of money or make a trivial amount of money. Or if it really collapses, you can make a solid amount of money. And that's the interesting thing about strangles. As you can see right here that you are making money off volatility. It doesn't matter if the stock goes up or down as long as it goes up enough or down enough in a short period of time. Remember, if we see huge fluctuations early on, you'll make a lot of money, right? If it hits, let's say, 81, you'll make a good bit of money if it hits that in a day or two. But if it continues to sit at that price, naturally the option is going to be worth less. And if you hold it all the way, you'll make less money. And there's also tons of scenarios where you can make a good amount of money early on let's say over $1,000, but if it stays at that price or you don't close out immediately, you would end up losing a bit of money. If you're going to use a strategy like this, generally you want to have an open order on your two options, which means right after you open it, target the type of profit that you want and set the system to close out at that net profit, which means if we get an immediate spike, it'll close out, it'll close out of your position, you'll sell out, make your money, and things will be fine. Another thing you can do that is a fair bit risky is you could sell a single side of the strangle, the call or the put, and then sell the other side if you think things are going to move a different direction. For example, if we're looking at GameStop, if you were to, let's say, open your strangle here and it spikes up, you could sell the call here for an immense amount of profit. And then as it collapses, because you expect it to go down, you could sell the puts for an immense amount of profit. And it's a similar thing here. If you close out of these two positions, the call and put, at different periods of time, at different prices, you can make way more money than it actually says. Let's say AMC flew up, you could sell at $90, and you would be making way more than just $2,461, because this is considering your loss from the put. You could sell here, make thousands of dollars, and then if you expect it to go down, it might plummet, and you could sell the put for, let's say, a couple hundred or more. And again, it would be much higher because this is considering the loss from the call. So you would actually make an immense amount of money, but you would have to time things essentially perfectly, which is incredibly difficult to do. And when you employ a strategy like that, you kind of defeat a bit of the purpose of a strangle because a strangle is about making money due to volatility. If you think you can time the market precisely, you could just buy calls and puts at different times, really. Unless you see a too good opportunity, maybe like Fibonacci retracement fails, things like that. I've actually done this strategy before, not on AMC, and I made a fair bit of money selling the call at a different price than the put. But again, you're opening a lot of risk because you have to pay money for these options contracts. If neither of them pans out or they go to ridiculous prices, you could end up losing everything that you put in. So there's a lot that goes into it. If you are interested in a strategy like this, I would highly recommend you get on the options profit calculator and you calculate out a few of these scenarios. Honestly, we don't know how it's going to pan out. It might soar up and then collapse and then go up again like GameStop. Or it's also possible that it spikes up and then goes down and sort of stays at those lower levels like what happened in the Volkswagen Porsche short squeeze. Regardless, you should be very careful when you're dealing with highly volatile assets and options. And this is really more of a PSA about the potential tools out there that might be more appealing for certain investors. 
compared to just buying shares. But I wish you best of luck in the market. Happy trading. If you're interested in investing in the market with self-directed trading, a fantastic way to start is with Webull. If you sign up now using my referral link in the description of this video, you'll get two free stocks valued up to $2,300, which includes companies like Google, Facebook, and Starbucks, as well as many others. All the money in your account is yours to invest, trade, or withdraw as you please. It's your money. There's zero fees associated with depositing money. You just get your stocks and you'll get your buying power immediately. So if you want a fantastic mobile, desktop, and web trading brokerage, just use the link in the description of this video. Thanks and happy trading.